think, I think it would be a real tragedy if that consensus was able to break down. I think it's been one of the reasons that the UK has managed to lead the world at times in the fight against global warming um, and have such clout on a world stage. But the, you know, the, key, the key thing is that we cannot be allowed in the UK to unravel the, all of the things that would make real the commitment that we just made in Paris just a few months after we signed that deal. The message that sends, not just to people in the UK, but to the rest of the world, I think is devastating. And also because in the end, we'll only make progress on global warming if we make the case publicly and we take the public with us. Now, there's one narrative that the government seems to have, which is that climate change is costly, that it will cost jobs, that it will cause higher bills. There's another way of thinking about it. If we made the right choices and we formed broad alliances to help deliver it, which is about a transition to a clean energy system that helped to power our economy, that helped to create jobs and investment in some of our poorest communities, that helped to ensure that young people in towns like mine in Wigan had access to those clean energy jobs of the future. We could look forward to the next 100 years and say it's doom, gloom and despair, or we could look forward and say there is a massive, massive opportunity for the UK here. And I find it, feel it particularly strongly because I represent a town that is a former mining town where most of my constituents in the past or their ancestors would have gone down the pits, would have done really dangerous, difficult, dirty work and helped to build this country's wealth through the Industrial Revolution, give us the global influence that allowed us to go to Paris in December and help to lead the world in negotiating that historic deal. It's communities like mine, constituents of mine, who ought to be given the chance to do that again. And wherever I go at the moment in the UK, whether it's in the northeast of England or the northeast of Scotland, uh, whether it's on council estates in Lambeth or um, in communities in Nottingham, that's what people are asking for. They're asking for that plan, that strategy, that investment that will help to, as you said at the beginning of this interview, you know, to keep the lights on, to keep bills low, to safeguard jobs and to move us towards climate change. Do you find